Hello my lovelies and welcome to diamond painting. Yes, we're going to be doing some more diamond painting here today. And um, I really fancy getting a bit more of this blue done. I really enjoyed it last night. So what I plan to do is I'm going to um, do this and then hopefully branch up here as well. So I've got a new pirate bangle today. Um, from this actually came from Timu, but because I'm I love Pirates of the Caribbean, I was like, oh, gotta get that. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna do here today. Okay, so let's get started on a Saturday night. Everybody's moving to the middle right. Um. Anyway, today has been a really relaxing day. Yes, it's been uh, quite calm on the trains today. Not many people on there. Um, normally rush hours between like 6 or 7 o'clock and uh, occasionally around about 4 or 5 um, sometimes but as well first things in the morning at 9 o'clock as well so I got on a lovely quiet empty train which was quite nice came in sat down for about half an hour I ordered some watermelon sweets through Amazon and um, I really really like you know them Bebito watermelon sweets, but they've got a new bag now. So you've got the 50p option, or you've got, um, you got yeah the 50p option, or you've got the uh, oh, what do you call it? There's a new bag with the pound option, which is quite nice. So uh, I've been upgrading to the pound version because. These 50p ones just, I don't know what it is, but they just don't have enough in there. It just seems like they never have enough sweets. But then again, you get what you pay for. So, <laughs> so I thought we'll do this for about an hour or so if the camera will let us and get a bit more of this done. Um, to the best of my knowledge, there's no strikes this weekend. So I'm thinking of popping over, grabbing my parcels, might stop for a cup of tea. Um, and then I keep forgetting that Britain's Got Talent's on, uh, so we've gone off. So I keep that uh, yesterday was so funny because I, I got set up ready for Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> it weren't even on, I'm thinking, come on, where is it? And yeah, it weren't even on. So you get so into that vibe, don't you, of watching Britain's Got Talent. And then when it's off, you're like, well, what do I watch now? So it'll be going back to movie evenings I think um, let me get my multi place I, I wish these pens would have a multi placer section in um, I have been currently modifying a cover minder and you'll see more on this a little bit later on but as you can see this is a croc um, it's called a croc charm you put them in your crocs but I've converted it into a cover minder so I'm trying to find a way of how I could convert that. The problem being is it's such a big um, circumference of that tube. I don't think I'm going to get a size that, you know, a cover minder that big. But there is options. Because I would like to, you know, put that in. So that would be good. So, um, yeah, that's the plan of action. For Saturday and then I originally had dentist because I got to go through a review thing and find out when they're gonna rip out the next two teeth I was literally in agony with the last one the upper ones don't really get I mean every tooth can get dry socket but the upper ones don't really I'm not really that bad with dry sockets I always seem to suffer with the bottom ones so the other two extractions are like the the uh, upper teeth so it should be okay um, today but yeah while well, I've got a bit of time to do this there's nothing better than coming in and sitting in front of the fan <laughs> but um, it's so refreshing you know when it's hot weather as well coming in having another because I have a I normally have like two showers a day not because I stink or anything but because the weather is just so horrible at the moment like with I don't mind the hot weather but it's like very sort of like like humid no sort of breeze to it 
So the, bit, the first thing I come in is I have a shower, sit down, nice cup of tea, and just sit there for that, you know, first hour or so, and then I get on with everything. So this is what it's like, come in, get started on this, do dinner, and then, because obviously Britain's Got Talent was taking up a lot of my time, so I have now sort of recovered that time, and I'm gonna try and, I try to keep the evenings like free from doing the paintings and that. I do some, perhaps occasionally at say nine o'clock, but I'm trying to keep it so that I can really clear the box. The box is cram packed at the moment, it's at 2%. But it's a nightmare because every time I record and I delete one, another one's recording. So it's like you're not getting anywhere. And you have the same problem with, um, with uh, oh, what do we call it? YouTube. And thank you so much, Angela, for saying that I'm a lovely person. I really appreciate your candor there. So um, it's very lovely of you to say that. I appreciate you. So um, yeah. So then after this, I will be doing spaghetti bolognese again because I really enjoyed it. So I normally get. Like, I like to do two halves of it, so I'll get like the spaghetti bolognese, so if it's like a small pack. I normally get the 360 one and I half it, so, which means I can have like one today and then one tomorrow. So, spaghetti bolognese is just lovely. But it's really weird because when I was a kid, I hated it. Every Sunday my parents would do the same dinners, and my mum especially, she has the same thing quite a lot. She likes all her pies and all her fish and all that. But there is a company called Hello Fresh, and I've had them before, but it's just, I don't know what it is. There's a premium charge or something. If you get a Pacific meal, you've got to pay an extra 10, um, an extra 5.99 on it. And they keep emailing me with offers to do, and I, I just think it's just so overrated. Um, you know, very overpriced for what you get. But what I love about HelloFresh is they provide the exact ingredients. So say for example, there was two people that live with you. So like you live with your mum and your dad, then you would get three portions and exactly the right portion size. But the thing is, I went through the 50% offer ages ago and I have found that they don't really do an awful lot of variety of foods that I like, which is why I cancelled. So that was really one of the reasons why I'm just going to check. That is, oh that helps, the number's cut off. <laughs> I think that's, I need to check because I'm sure it's that tea. Yeah, I think this one, because I remember we kitted that one up, didn't we? But I can't remember what colour it was. If that's that, yeah, there we go, that's tea. Yeah, that's the one I want. Fantastic. But yeah, it's, um, it's do I, don't I, and there's, I need to get back into Grey's. Grey's box is basically like, you pick things and then they send them out. It's like a subscription thing. So that's the point, I need to look into that and you can click all the foods that you like, all the ones that you don't like. And it's a really great company actually. I normally go for like the chocolate box and the, um, and the, um, oh, what do you call it? The, you know, the flapjack. They used to do a lovely one called Coconut Paradise. Little bits of coconut with like these chocolate buttons and berries. And I've got some sad news. Yeah, so I used to do a subscription called Baked In, and what it is is you get a bread box or a, you know, a baking box, and I always went for like the baking boxes, and you get all the dry ingredients provided, even down to baking paper, and you don't know what you're making until they send it out. And then normally round about once it's delivered, they'll tell you what it is. I mean, obviously if your parcel's delayed, then you're gonna know before you open it. Um, the only things you need to provide is the fresh ingredients and I totally forgot about it and there was a, a flyer thing on the Facebook the other day and I thought, oh my God, I ain't done that for, for 
for several months and I looked back on the account and apparently the last time I did that was back in October 2022. Um, so I got in touch with Baitin and I said, can I renew my subscription please? And she said, unfortunately due to the current crisis in the UK at the moment with the cost of living, they've actually made the decision not to open up any new subscriptions or reinstate ones that you've cancelled down because um, apparently they're finding it really really difficult to get the ingredients and stuff so there I said well is the online shop still going to be available and she said yeah that's fine but it just goes to show that you know it's not just people struggling it's companies as well like even big companies you know like Vice who's just gone under you know it just really goes to show how much this country is mucked up. Um, but yeah, so I was a bit disappointed with that really. I uh, gutted about it really because I love doing that. And um, yeah. Okay. That. that was just these tassel things get on my nerves so I have to keep going like that so um, you know that cream I showed you is it Seveline or something I'm still getting it round there look all flaky skin skill and it just that cream doesn't seem to do anything so I don't know if we'll be needing to ring the doctor about that really um, because he supplied me, um, it's called Severine or something. Yeah, it's called this, Severine or something, moisturising cream in natural ointment to hydrate dry skin. Well, it, I've used quite a lot of that and it's still doing it, so I don't know what's causing it. Um, and it's really quite frustrating, but next week I'm really hoping, because my I've ordered another portfolio, because I ordered one. Um, but that was for my wooden ones because I've got paintings over there. I always keep it over there um, in case like, I get bored anytime and I can just do some painting. Um, but it's becoming a bit of a joke because Hannah's boyfriend Jack has decided he wants to bring in his lakeside furniture, a massive big tumble dryer, a wardrobe. So it's like an auctioneer's house. There's crap everywhere and I keep asking my mum is he moving in and she won't comment on it she sort of bottles up so I'm thinking I'll bring them over here because I used to what it was is I used to like go over there and then when they all sort of went to work I would film it and then go home after I finished but it's I haven't been able to film there for weeks I mean not like a proper sit down diamond paint so yeah so that was originally going to be in the unboxing video but then i thought oh, i'll just open it and get another one i've got a green one through one day saving a white one and i've picked this banana sort of color one so i'll be doing that as soon as it comes and that's coming with a, a painting as well but i'm really going to try my hardest not to spend any more on paintings because <laughs> The trouble is, is they're so cheap, that's what really makes you want to buy them. I mean, I could get easy, probably about 20, but this farmyard game, what I'm thinking of doing is if I spend 30 pounds, apparently I get 300 um, water drops for this farmyard game. So, but I just feel that if I did that, there's gonna be like, they're gonna say, look, invite one user. And if that user doesn't join, or doesn't want to then you still you know it is what it is but I suppose at the end of the day you got the 300 water droplets out of it and stuff like that so okay so we've got F now but yeah I've actually just some days I can just really want to paint and then the last few days I've just really not been in the mood to diamond paint and I've lost my mojo on it and I've sort of had to force myself because I know that I need to get them, get it done and stuff. So, 
Yeah, so... It's quite annoying, the dentist, as well, because, like, I know that I need my tooth took out, but he won't do anything until he's reviewed the one that's currently been took out, and that's... It's almost closed, the hole. But I just see it as a waste of a trip, you know? All the way down there for five minutes for him to go, yeah, that's healing nicely, let's put you back in. I mean, I don't understand why he can't do the extraction there and then. And I've actually said to them, look, can you make it like, say a bit more, about an hour extra or something, and just try and do, you know, try and get the extraction done there and then. But quite often he can't do it because of how severe. No, normally dentists will just put it out, but if it's really cracked and battered, they can't do it. It has to go to a specialist. So, yeah, back in Mr. Beer. Um, to doing that and get that extracted so well this is looking lovely we're getting into into this first square I can't wait to get into this light bit so yeah yes yeah, so I'm gonna sit down our spaghetti bowl spaghetti bolognese or whatever you call it I call it spag bowl, people call it spaghetti bolognese, there's so many names for it. <laughs> um, and I didn't really taste much difference in that low fat one that I showed you, it doesn't really taste any different. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'll probably whack a movie on Netflix, because I pay for that, and I, to be fair with you, I've not actually watched any movies so far since paying. <laughs> There was a time I paid for it and the whole month went by and I didn't watch a single movie. And then I was watching this guy on TikTok and he's like a like an advisor sort of thing and he's saying to people that if you can't do Netflix one month, if you can't do Netflix, Disney, Prime all together, do it on a rotation. So one month have Netflix, cancel that, and then the next month have Disney Paths cancelled out, and I thought, you know what, that sounds like a, you know, a really good idea. I mean, I don't have to pay for Prime or Disney Plus because with my contract with O2, because I've got two different contracts, I've got a SIM only contract and a phone contract, and because I've got two different contracts, I get six months free of Disney Plus and then I get six months free of Amazon Prime. Now, I don't really watch Prime Video because you'll f the problem is with these digital sites is that you'll find them on near enough all the other ones. Um, so it's pointless going through Prime and that, and I just get so fed up with Prime because one minute they're free, the next minute you've got to pay. It just don't make sense. It really, really doesn't. Like old films, they still charge for, and I, I think that's wrong. I really do think that's wrong. Um, so, I think there's discussion about the BBC. They want to change it into like a subscription service, so you don't pay 150, every, you know, each time. So, yeah. But I'm only used Prime for just like next day delivery and since obviously T-Moves come about I, I hardly use Amazon now. Um, only a flight, I can't get it anywhere else. I think what's really sort of made me go off Amazon is just the prices. Everything is just sky high. I mean, as I said, like link sets, they're in near enough like seven or eight quid for like just shower gel and the links. So now I've got to go back to sort of like the old fashioned way of going finding it in a shop um, I mean if absolutely if I couldn't find it and there's no other way of if there's no other shops that do it then I, I would have to sort of like bite my tongue on it and order it but I just I don't know how they can say that that's worth eight pounds but yeah um, Lots of lovely colour in this one actually, so I'm going to get to the end of this line, have a bit of my drink. So 
so yeah, I'm gonna get to the end of this line and then I'll have a bit of a bit of water and then because apparently water is supposed to be really good for your skin. I used to have juice but I just consider it like too like when I buy juice I can drink the whole bottle of it because it's just they do double concentrate but I can just drink and drink and drink with juice. Um, so I'm with water. I mean, I get fed up with doing it. But did anyone see on the news? I think it was a drone or something. This man was standing outside of his house roof, and um, they dropped a bottle of water into his house in Ukraine because there's a massive flood or something. So the drone sort of dropped it. That's so cool. It's interesting how the weight of the drone doesn't sort of like. The bottle, like the bottle counter balances it and brings the drone down. It's quite interesting. But there we go, guys. That's that square done. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. I'm not really agreeing with the grey, but I think that's supposed to be a cloud, so that's fine. But lovely streaks of different colours there. And now we can move on to the next one. Once I just get myself a drink because it is extremely hot. This weather makes you tired as well. Oh, lovely. Wow. Okay. So now we're gonna go into, I mean, this, this pot is just perfect for all that color. But yeah, it's, uh, Onwards and upwards to the next one. I'd like to get a Homeward Bound. Um, homeward Bound is about three little, it's like two dogs and a cat called Sassy. And um, there's a scene, <laughs> there's, a, there's a scene in it where the porcupine, um, the porcupine, uh, I don't know what happens, but it basically injects the pines from the porcupine into the face of this dog. So he has to go to the vet and get it all out. I think he skunked her, um, but I don't think a porcupine can skunk. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know why, but I think you know if they they feel like they're under threat, they'll like just chuck these pines at you very similar to a tarantula if you if you blow on the tarantula they have hairs that they will flick from their legs and if it gets in your hat if it gets in your face because my friend did this Sarah and she accidentally blew on it because she thought it was dead and the next thing she knew is that all these hairs got flicked on her and her face was like the size of a balloon so yeah. So I've got to try and decide how far I want to take this up. And then also this type of weather just makes you not want to cook and then you want to get takeaways and I've, I've got to use this meat up otherwise it's going to go off. So I must use it today. See what I mean? It goes dot, 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 and then you've got that one C there. So you see what I mean there? But yeah, I think we'll take it up a little bit further. Hopefully the Crown Prince of Crime is in stock and I can get it this time. <laughs> but I've got to wait another three weeks till payday, unfortunately. One thing I hate is waiting all month for your payment. Um, but yes, we can, because of the job I'm in, I can get mine sometimes daily, sometimes weekly, it all depends. We have a payout system that pays us every Tuesday and you can pay 50p. This is what, this is what the crafty thing about it. You pay 50p if you want to cash out that day, 
or otherwise you have to you can wait a week and it cashes it out without the fee if you get me but it's good if you need it there and then I suppose but you know I'll get my straightener behind that because that's very way for I think we'll go another two more no I think we'll leave it there because that's quite a decent size because then we've then just got a little rectangle to do. So looking at this I think we can do two squares and a rectangle. So that's pretty good. But it's going to get heavy on colour once we get to the next row because that's where all these individual pebbles or stones come in. Um, so yeah. I need to find a clip to put that on there but I don't know where it is. But yes, I've got to try and decide what I think. I'm thinking Peter Pan, you know. Because I love that where they go, I do believe in fairies, I do, I do. <laughs> I watched Avatar 3. That took me three sessions to watch it because it's just such a long film. Um, and I get bored after about an hour watching that. I can't understand why you would do a film for three hours. It's like King Kong, that's always dragged as well. Um, This has got some lovely colours in this. I'm looking forward to seeing the balance between the light and the blue here. It's um, quite lovely actually. As I said, I like the way it goes from dark and then works its way well, way into light as well. That's really groovy. What I love, as I said, what I love about doing paintings that have loads of colour is each colour is getting a little bit turned out of the tray. So it's like some colours I've still got packed up for the minute, as you can see. But it's just really, really lovely indeed. Um, so it's really, really cool. I got this thing today on um, Timu and what you do is, as you can see, for example, this bag, I'll have to open one um, to show you, but let's do, where's my scissors, I don't know where my water scissors are, no, oh no, um, hmm, okay, interesting, let me just do something, let me see if I can do it with this. Okay, so say for example, this bag is open. I got this thing on Timu, and this is called a bag sealer. So in here, you open that up, flick that down, and in there, you've got your AA batteries. And what you do is, as you can see, this bag, this bag is open, yeah? And then what you do is, you can go like that, it's like a stapler. You hold it there for a couple of minutes. 
move it along. And as you can see, seal that bit there, hold it shut a bit longer. And then move it along. I mean, depending how quick it sort of heats up, as you can see, hold it shut and it seals your bag for you. As you can see, can't get it open. How cool is that? It's not falling out, really, really good. I just thought that was brilliant because sometimes my bags do need to, um, there's like a little contraption here. It sort of goes on there and it rests on there and perhaps a heat mechanism heats it up. But what I love about it is the fact that some of my bags need to be sealed up. So that's what I use now for that. Isn't it amazing the amount of things you need for diamond painting? <laughs> and then you know my pen cutter? Well, my blue one's pissing about a bit. So I found this, which is a pen, but it's not no ordinary pen. You push it. And see that little blade? That's a blade, so when you obviously open your bags, you can cut along it and it'll open your bag. So that's a lot more better than that blue one, because this blue one that I've got, I think I've pushed too hard on it, because the blade is like literally disintegrated. So that one's got to go, unfortunately. But the pen ones is really cool. So yeah, because I'm always losing my scissors and stuff. So I thought that's going to be perfect. So we've got two new colours here. I've, I'm not going to bother with that just yet because I'll have to kit that up, which I can do here, but I don't really want to take too much time away from diamond painting. And we can tackle that once we get a further bit down here because it crops up here anyway, so yeah. for variety, the best is show in Britain. It's for variety, everybody can't you see? Be, 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 be for variety. Might be able to do some multi placing here. What's lovely about multi placing, as I've said in the past, is that it frees up more room in your tray. So we, I've loaded loads in there. The more we get multi-placed, the more it uses the tray up a bit. So it's really cool. With me, I like to pour all the jewels in because I know that then that is all I've got for that sort of thing. But yeah, I thought that bag silly was quite great really. And batteries are invaluable in my house because I have so many things that need batteries. Um, so I normally buy like the, you know, the rechargeable ones. So I normally get them, which are pretty good. So as you can see, all it takes is a little bit for shake, see? And then they all sort of like, like, I'll get it there, you see they all sort of line up. Pretty cool. And that's what the little grooves are there for. Now Liz Harrison Scotty Dog Crafts, she's got this grinder thing. And you put the drills in there, like say they've got all mixed up, and they get, um, Put in there to do and you turn it and it mixes it up but I ordered a herb grinder because it was exactly the same thing and I spoke to a friend about this and I returned it and after I returned it she was like that does exactly the same thing it can still do your jewels and I'm like damn it's too late I returned it because <laughs> to me because it says pepper grinder to me that's wrong so I need it to say Diamond painting grinder, and I'll buy it. <laughs> but you see how quick and fast paced it is when we sort of like move in and get a bit more done. It's really cool. 
this is what I love about multi-placing and looking back over the years I always used to do single placing until sort of now really and uh, yeah Really do with the cornetto. Just one cornetto, give it to me. Just one cornetto, and you will see. But as I say, Diamond painting is therapeutic, it's relaxing, it's great for killing time, you know, it's great for having wine. <laughs> the best time is Christmas time when you're sitting there painting like an off-camera project and you get to listen to all the Christmas songs as you're doing it. It's really cool. Give it to me Just one cornetto And you will see I mean some of these jewels like up here You know you just needs to be a little bit of a shuffle around and then um, yeah it's annoying when you get like gaps like that if you've got a big gap all it takes is just like a little bit for shimmy left or right and it sort of brings it back into sometimes it's not always that the painting is off center or it's off sort of slightly it's the drill that is giving you an optic illusion um that it's wrong you know um so yeah Yes, we should have EastEnders on tonight. I totally forgot to watch Waterloo Road. I couldn't believe it. Because I was so busy on, you know, in Chelmsford and stuff. And this was the day. It was on that day. And I couldn't find it on BBC iPlayer. So I don't know where it went. And today I looked on my planner and it's on the actual... It's actually been recorded, which is great. So I'm really happy with that. Um... So yeah. What's them things in the carnival where they go like that? It's like a stick thing and they keep going like that or they keep like turning it like that. Because that's what that reminds me of. So I have to flip it to do the three place and then you flip it to do the single place, but... <laughs> Hello! Sorry, I was just responding to an email there. I think I need a drink actually, to be fair. I am literally fired of this 
And then obviously when you wake up and you see the hot weather, it makes you not want to do anything. And then you fear going out. But we must not complain. We've had quite a shit month of rain um, the last couple of months. So I'm just going to go to the lavatory. So I, I can't hold it any longer. I do apologise. So I'm just going to pop for a wee wee and then I'll be back and we'll carry on with doing this. Okay. I'm going to try my best tonight because I've got to do the rainbow rose because that's pretty cool because I've got to go out Friday. Um, I'm not too sure what time I'll be back. Normally if I go out for the day, I'm normally back like 7 or 8 o'clock. I make a full day from it. Um, so I've got to do a pre-recorded of that and then if I get any time left, I might do just that block there and just really try and keep it moving really um, so the quicker this one's done the quicker it can go on the wall and hopefully I can put it up this month so yeah But my fans, I'm surprised they've not blown up because I've had them on all day and all night and I dread to think what the bloody gas bill is. Um, so the electric bill, but this is the thing, you know, it's, it is what it is on that, I'm afraid. It's a funny old thing, heat, because it will keep you awake it, like if it's too hot because you're tossing and turning but it will also make you feel asleep at the same time so <laughs> okay let's just get the that one let's get the multi placer actually because there's more of that Waxy woo! Video slots 100% up to £200 on your first deposit to video lots. What's video lots? <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to. Might have an early night tonight actually because I feel like really tired. Just one con to give it to me. Do, 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 do. I'm quite impressed with the progress so far on this. It's uh, really looking the bomb.com, as Misha would say. <laughs> My friend Misha, like if everything, if anything was good, she'd always go, "Oh yeah, that's the bomb.com that is." And whenever she's describing something, she'll go like this and like that. It's like a, she, 
it's like this thing so when she's saying like oh this is good she'll go right that's good this is you know it's like i've never seen anyone do that before so uh yeah do you have memories of uh you know it's a thing it's a funny old thing work isn't it because like you like when you change have a change around in jobs you move and then like some people stay in touch and some don't and i describe it as like leaving school because you have that lovely sort of like going into work meeting your colleagues and then when you leave that job and move into something else it's like leaving a family or like leaving a school like school or college because you're so used to meeting them and working with them every day and yeah it's very good Yeah, seeing this lovely weather just makes you want to go to the beach. <laughs> so, pretty good. But I think I should be getting my omelette maker. I ordered this, um, well it's more like an egg maker, but they've got these things on Timu. And they're like omelette makers, but in the shape of like Mickey Mouse, um, a star. And I ordered the heart one because you can do an egg in that as well. So, because my mum's birthday is coming up soon, so I'm thinking I could. I've got some lovely things I'm going to get her. I want to actually, I can't say because if my relative's watching this, my relative has this thing that if I say to him, I'm going to get him, I'm going to get her this, he goes out and buys exactly the same thing to give to her to wind me up. Um, and he does that when, like, same like my mum buys something for George, my brother. He will, um, right, if my mum sent him a picture and go, what do you think of that? I want to buy that. I'll go out and buy it. And I'll just, it, I feel sorry for her because it's, you know, she wants to buy him a gift and it just has to spoil it. So, but yeah, it's really really good seeing how this comes together it's quite funny because my mum's birthday is one day and then the day after it's my dad's birthday so it's uh, like two in one really <laughs> Why did I just move that? That does go there. It's because I'm get there's a gap here with um, C, but as I said, you shouldn't really drag it because it can wipe the glue off it. So uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this. You can tell because I've uh, sat here painting away, and normally I don't work on the same painting day in and day out. So this is just like lovely. Lazy retired granny, do you um do you paint in the garden? Because Sam Van Green on TikTok paints in the garden and I can just imagine you sitting there on your lovely deck with um 
what's her name, Holly or Bella, what's, what's your dog's name, Holly is it, but yeah, I do that in the summer, but obviously it's got to be perfect conditions, you know, no wind, because um, otherwise your jewels will go out there, what? I can just imagine like going for the drink, going to get in the drink, and then like, where's my bloody jewels gone, it'd be like, honey, I shrunk the kids trying to find the jewels in the grass, and they're like, they're down here, <laughs> That was such a classic film, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The reason I just moved there is because I had three on there. Sometimes you can go like tilt, tilt, like that, or like that to place it, but it's just easier to drag that over a bit um, to get that put down. We've got Troop in the colour coming up, which is on the 12th. I don't actually celebrate that. I find it rubbish. It's really weird because like any other event, I mean, I don't consider Troop in the colour. I'm a royalist, but I don't consider Troop in the colour a major event. I only sort of watch the major events like coronations, weddings, if they're doing like a, like a, the Platinum Jubilee, like when they did the celebration on the stage and that, but um, yeah, if it's like major, sort of like major events and stuff. But Troop in the car sitting there watching, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what, I don't really watch it. I think it's just where they go around Horse Guards Parade and they sort of like do a changeover of guards, is it, or something. I don't really watch it, so... But my dad will go up there. He loves that sort of thing, but... I, I'd love to do it, like, go up there and see it as a, like, in-life sort of perspective rather than on TV. But... It's, I, I just can't stand there for hours, it would do my head in, so. Okay, so we're gonna do the last line, which is this one now, because we're getting up to the five o'clock. The hour's gone pretty quick. It's gone quite slow for a change, which is nice. Um, and then that will be that ready for the next session so unfortunately we haven't been able to get further down but this is the thing when you mid start when you start half a square you'll find that you'll you start half finish half start half finish half and you know so on and so on but i'm really enjoying this this specific one anyway what one's this s okay we've got a bit of c coming up Tipsy baby, you should listen. <laughs> you should listen to that. It's called um, "I Follow You" or "I Follow With" or something like that, and it goes. Tipsy baby, I follow you. Oh, I might put some Christmas music on to finish off that card that I was doing. I can't stick to one painting. I'm always starting more while I'm in the process of doing some. <laughs> And this has got lovely, lovely stick. So, um, quite bizarrely, I've not actually found anything in the works, anything new. But ran sort of like this time last year, they had these big flower canvases on like an MDF backing, which is a type of wood here in the UK. But on that note, we haven't seen any more. But that is that, we've done another session here. And as I said, what we will do as well, while we're here is, I don't know if I've got my scissors to hand. If we haven't, then we'll have to do it next time. Oh, why is it everything? Whenever I want something, they never block it there. I've seen them. Where have I put the scissors? <laughs> well, we'll do it next time. But what we, uh, what I'm gonna do is, because this block here is done, that's not gonna stick to nothing. I'll cut that off and trim it off. 
Um, I can't do it with the pen because it will cut into the canvas here, so I can't do it like that for the minute. But that's how it's looking. Look at that. It really is looking the bomb.com, and they've got the colours perfect with this, so I'm really excited to see how this light bit looks and that's going to mingle in here as well but that's that please remember to like share subscribe do all the lovely youtube -y things um if you haven't subscribed to the channel already consider subscribing it's totally free of charge and it helps the channel out so please take care have a lovely day and we'll see you next time for the next session of this beautiful painting catch you later